started speaking. This is the, uh, this week's mystery item. Um, okay. Any questions about the mystery item before I reveal? Is it painful? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. If you put the wrong bit in the wrong yeah. place, yeah. very painful. Is it a picker-upper? Not really, no. A measurer? No, it's not a measurer. Is it a peeler? Peel um, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Um, let me um, change it for the. Oops. Oh, oh. I was just oh. looking at the screen when the actual thing is right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's. Um, um, so this, if you watch this bit here. I love the sound. It is quite nice. I'd like to pass that around. I saw the picture, so I'm not going to say. Are the letters significant? Um, the letters are a big clue, actually. Um, BYU is um, a university, and CMR is a description of the family of these items. So um, it, it could be a hump head ras. I thought because it looked pretty similar, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's not. It is um, a pair of a pair. It's not really a pair. Pliers. It's compliant pliers. Oh. The interesting bit being compliant. Yeah. Does anyone know what compliant means in this? No. Explain. Um, compliant means it's um, it's a single piece. It's um, it uses the flex of the material to perform the mechanical function, in this case, of a pair of pliers. <laughs> so um, um, if you look at an ordinary pair of pliers, it's got at least two, two pieces with, um, with a hinge in the middle. And that's, that's quite a complex, well, it, it, it's a separate, um, well, you could if, if it was differently made. The point is, it's, it's one piece um, and there's no hinge that can wear out or gain slot. Easy to manufacture, etc. And um, I didn't really follow up this um, rabbit hole as much as I usually do with these um, things. But um, this is an animation of this, and it's a single part. And the amount of force that's applied at the, um, in the mouth of it is 30 times what you put in as an input. So if you put your finger in there, it, it's very painful, oh, very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. put your nail in there. And, uh, and you can imagine um, making an ordinary pair of pliers, you have to cast and machine and forge the material and put the two halves together and drive a shaft for the hinge through there and put plastic sleeves over the handle. And it's quite a, a series of steps. But this, you could... Um, you could extrude a pipe of this, well, not even a pipe, but you could extrude plastic of this shape and then just slice, slice the pliers off like slices of bread from a loaf. The, um... I printed this. Um, so BYU is the university that designed this and you can download the, the file and, and print, print this. Um, I, there's, there's more examples coming up. Um, no, I'm, I'm do it gently. This. You try that. Oh, well, that. <laughs> so, so I'm showing on screen a number of um, other different compliant mechanisms. So the um, the the mammoth down at the bottom left. If you if you pushed the mammoth's bottom, how do you think it would move? <laughs> it would get up. It's Tusks up. What was the question? I, I, I Can you see the mammoth on screen? So you've got a hinge or something. It's in the, the trunk, isn't it? So it must go up, mustn't it? Does the trunk well, I didn't up? print this one out, unfortunately. But well, maybe I will do um, later. But when you push, when you push the mammoth's bottom, its trunk swivels around, and the hole at the end of his trunk stays exactly in the same position. Yeah. So it's quite an interesting mechanism. You can see how that could be useful in other mechanisms. For example, holding an axle or something like that. It can, um, in a suspension system or something like that, it holds the axle still <coughs> as the rest of the, the, the vehicle moves around it, perhaps. Um, that Dremel is holding a clutch, a compliant mechanism clutch. 
So it speeds up and the green part expands out until it starts rubbing against um, the red part, which eventually then starts spinning. Um, the, um, the top right one is, is a toggle switch, like a light switch, uh, which is a bit similar to this one. Um, let me show you Zoom this as well. So this is also from that university. And um, you can see when you push up at the bottom here, it suddenly ooh, clicks up and it's really satisfying. <laughs> but um, another important thing about compliant mechanisms, you can make this at the almost nanoscopic scale on silicon. So you can have mechanical toggle switch switches on, on a chip. Um, for lots of reasons, so I'll pass that around just to get the feel. Because it's so small, so, you don't need any, you don't have to components to put together. That's yeah, so you, you can etch that on silicon and it's a mechanically working um, toggle switch. Why doesn't it wear out? Well, it would, uh, well, I suppose it's within the elastic re region of the, the stress strain but profile. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It almost it's, feels magnetic. Yeah. It does, yeah. And um, that uh, YouTube video that I've um, got on this slide links to a Veritasium vi um, video where he visits the university. And they talk about um, a similar mechanism to the one that I've just shown you there, this, this red one at the bottom right of the screen. And that's used in a nuclear missile firing mechanism because it... it cannot go off there's nothing that can yeah. fail no vibrations or shocks that can set off the mechanism because it uses compliant mechanisms within within it it's really fascinating wow. and uh, so it's a very deep rabbit hole that i i didn't really go into but um, the video is very worth a look but overall the benefits of uh, Compliant mechanisms are the part count. You can just print it out in one. It's very cheap. For example, slicing off pliers like slices of bread. You get very precise mo motion, like at uh, the end of the trunk not moving as, the, as you push the bottom. And um, there's also benefits of performance, the scalability. You could, I could have printed those pliers out of any size and they would have worked exactly the same. Um, they're light, lightweight, uh, lightweight and predictable, but I won't go into too much detail. But I think compliant mechanisms are awesome and everyone should know what they are, which is why it was a mystery object today. Yay. <laughs>